Gustavo Rivera and Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. stepped up to the challenge here at the Mary Mitchell Center in the Bronx. And they want Bronxites to change their unhealthy eating habits and change their attitudes. Bronx Can is a healthy initiative encouraging the community to lead healthier lives and change attitudes now. The campaign isn't about restriction, but about eating your favorite foods in moderation. We have to talk about all of the things that, as Bronxites, uh, people who obviously from many different cultures, are so accustomed and, and that, uh, to eat and that we love to eat. The question becomes, if you're doing it in moderation, the question becomes the portion. This initiative is set to run from June 11th through October 24th, and Senator Rivera is not only a supporter, but he's also stepping up to the challenge to shed some pounds. We need to make some changes in ourselves to have better, healthier habits so that we can be healthier as individuals and healthier as a community. This is about changing our lifestyles to become healthier so that we can have a healthier community as a whole. The Bronx Green Machine, made up of high school students from around the Bronx, are helping with the challenge by offering fresh green alternatives. We try to get to as much residents, as much community to start changing their life and changing habits that they have. We're trying to make as much people, you know, eat more vegetables. And this Green Machine member is joining the health initiative by... To um, be healthy, eat healthier, um, mostly to just work out three or four times a week and it will, it will help. The Mary Mitchell After School Program held its own successful seven-week challenge for children ages 6 to 12. They um, cut out in integrated whole grains into their diet on a weekly basis, um, took out soda and um, sugar drinks, and just try to refrain from that and drink more water, milk, and exercise 20 minutes a day. The numbers don't lie, and it's a fact that the Bronx has the highest number of individuals suffering with obesity in all five boroughs, as well as obesity-linked diseases like diabetes. Organizers hope to change the problem by changing bad habits and attitudes towards food. For BronxNet, this is Sylvia Anglin.